Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, as you know, we don't normally appear on your uh, TV screen on a Thursday night, but I put a poll out on YouTube the other night asking if you wanted to see the part two of Venice, as part one did quite well, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm still answering all your messages about part one, so please bear with me. I've had so many things asked about Venice, so... I will get back to you yeah. all. So we asked if you'd like to see the extra Venice video tonight on a Thursday instead of our usual posting dates, which would be on a Sunday or a Tuesday. And most of you said yes. So here it is. Here's the second part of Venice. Plus, I also asked if you wanted three videos a week or two. Uh, the majority of you said do what you can. So what we will do is weekly we will let you know if it's going to be two or three in that week. So keep your eyes open on our community section of our YouTube channel because it will be all updated on there. But we'll try our best to do three if we can. We've got quite a bit of content, don't we, actually? Yeah, we've got so. quite a bit. We've got quite ahead of ourselves. So Matt is treating you over the next few weeks to three vlogs. So watch out on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. We will keep you updated on them. But for now, enjoy Venice. So it looks like we've managed to stumble upon a designer street here. And they've got Louis Vuitton, Tiffany's. Oh, there's just everything here. I mean, look at the look at these here. They don't even have the price on them, and you know it's expensive when the security guards are in the shops. They do have though, but the price in the window corner, we all have to have a price in, I think, don't we? But yeah, but it won't just, be cheap. Just in a denim jacket like this, £390, and Mark said, you want to get half of it? It's up there, isn't it? Up to yeah. your boobs. Go on, see how much them bags are, Mark. Crystal, where's the crystal one? Look at these ones. One of them up there, it's, it's €3,900. Yeah, I'll have, well, I can have one for each day, can't I? I don't, what would you get in it? You can't even get your mobile phone in something like that. I don't even think you'd get anything in there, really, money or anything. No, no. Food well, right. you'd have no money left after you bought it. <laughs> I think I found the best window display in uh, in Venice. Look at that. Look at that dress. It's like something out of a Walt Disney film. Stunning. Oh, God. What's he found? A restaurant. In comparison, the food's not extraordinarily expensive for saying no. it's on Millionaire's Row. Not Millionaire's too, Row. Not too bad, is it? That looks expensive in there. Another reason you know it's expensive, they sit you down and give you a glass of champagne so the shock doesn't hit you too much when you see the price. <laughs> oh, look, them sandwiches. That's a bit expensive, seven euro for a hot dog. We'll carry on walking. We have seen some better price places. You want to get some spaghetti bolognese? I fancy spaghetti bolognese. I don't know why, but I just really fancy it. Another fella selling pizzas there. I've not seen any with eggs in the middle yet. It's like tradition we put wrap for eggs in, crack an egg and that. Yeah, I've not seen that either. But we do do it. So. There's a lot of this as well, isn't there? Glass art. Yeah. Quite shark. Um, a lot of them, a lot of Ven Venice stuff, isn't it? Venetian, like caps and tops. And Little gamblers, what rock side to side, uh, which are solar powered, don't they? And they start from 12 euro right up to 15 euro, yeah, depends so where you shop again. So if you want one of them, shop around. to treat ourselves for once, haven't we? Have a romantic meal, aren't we? Romantic meal in Venice. I've gone for the spaghetti bolognese. And Mark's having a grilled beef steak. With French fries. With French fries. And, and we're at a bar or a restaurant called La Dolphin, aren't we? Yeah, La Dolphin. There it is. And we sat outside, aren't we? Yeah, because it's lovely and cool, isn't it? It's nice. And all Chico's getting is his picture taken all the time. <laughs> The big softy, aren't you? Mm. Yeah, you have the salt. That might you get free bread as well. Free cover as well. Quite but I know that, I'd have just let you buy that and then mm. a drink. So what have you got? You've got a beer and I've got a, a, a Aperol Aper Spritz. Spritz. That's what it's everything's Everyone drinks like. this, don't they? It's quite I've nice seen it actually. Back in the UK in bars and stuff. Yeah. So we'll show you the food when it comes. What a treat this is for us, isn't it? Even walk past Burger King to get here. That's your spaghetti, isn't it? 
spaghetti bolognese in Venice. Smells tomato. It's it's a meat one. You can get tomato one or a meat one. I've gone for the meat one. I could do with a spoon. Here we go. Am I going to get it all over my face? You <laughs> trying to eat it posh. So that's something you don't normally go for, isn't it? Mm. A grilled beef. It's like a bit like a steak, isn't it? Mm. Nice. Very tasty, yeah. And you got them chips that you can scoop up your sauce where yeah. you are. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. A man is lovely. And he's just come out and said, Bon Appetito. Oh, bless him. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, right, we'll crack on eating this. So if you come to Venice, we can highly recommend that yeah, restaurant. Really, yeah. What like was it called? Cardolphin. Cardolphin. It's in this little square. Yeah. Oh, right, we're right there. Chico's being the guard dog. <laughs> uh, service, fantastic. Food, fantastic. Yep. That came to 60 euros altogether, didn't it? Everything, yeah. Two I pounds for him. I had a large drink. Um, Spirit bolognese. Like a steak for you, weren't it? With yeah, yeah. chips. So not bad, really. Yeah, we're all right, yeah. We left a five euro tip, didn't we? Yeah. And the lovely, lovely people there. So, yeah. 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 Really Get attentive, there. aren't they? So, nice, nice. There's so many places to eat, takeaway and eating places oh. and stuff. Some a lot more. I mean, that oven, the other side, would have been double that, wouldn't yeah, it? Probably, yeah, yeah. So. But I've just, I've just spotted on my phone a charity shop. We're going to go and have a look. They open when they want to here, so fingers crossed it's open and I can show you a Venice charity shop so if you come to Italy and you see this sign that means it's a charity thrift shop and this one's so small that they've had to put a lot of rails outside of it unfortunately no bargains for me this afternoon but it's nice to find one eventually at least I can now say that I've been in a charity shop in Venice Mark's not having any of it today, he's sat down. I think now he's being fed, he wants to go to sleep. Here they are. Have you bought any bargains? No, nothing in there for us today. I'm gutted. What was it, charity shop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's loads in there. Yeah, but was it like Help the Ages or something? Or? No, not Help the Ages, it's just a charity shop. It's what they call thrift stalls here, isn't it? But they open when they want to, they don't have a set time, so... Was it like all Italian stuff? Yeah, it was Italian clothing, but um, one thing they don't do as well, they don't wash the clothes before. Right, so we're heading back for the 4.30 ferry. Yep. Because there's only two more after that. If we miss it, I don't fancy swimming all the way back yeah, to the van. Yeah, they don't run full time at this time of year, do they? So. No. And right at the beginning, I said to you that someone said to us that it stinks in Venice. Mm. No, no, at there's the minute it doesn't. Uh, now and again, but nothing out of the ordinary, no compared to any other... I were expecting it to be really bad, like I couldn't stand it, but honest to God, this, I've, I've smelt once or twice and that was Just it. Just a little whiff now and yeah. again, but the water didn't really smell. I've but been it, in, it's, it's early on in the year, isn't it? Still, I've been so. in Spain and it's been worse than that. Yeah. So let's head, head back to this uh, ferry port and get the boat, hopefully. Yeah. It's been a really, really nice day. It's been good, hasn't it? It's, it's been, been really, it's been really good. Up to press, it's the best thing we've done coming here, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And we weren't going to come. Tour. We said, why would we want to go there? It's going to be heaving, it's going to be expensive. Yeah. It's been neither of those two. No, I mean, the food was a little bit what we ate at that meal, but it's like if we'd eaten, That was a treat. If we'd eaten in an Italian restaurant back in England or Scotland, it'd have been the same sort of money, wouldn't it? So. Oh, God, yeah. So it's about 52 in it, what we paid, and then we left a tip. Yeah. We don't eat out very Good often. service de always demands a tip. Yeah, really, really it. good. It's not just about the food. It was nice, but it's also about that, the experience, isn't it? Yeah, you can't come to Venice and not have spaghetti bolognese. Come on. It's got to uh, be done, hasn't it? Yeah. So I've done quite a few of my bucket list things since I've been here, and I've absolutely loved it. I would thoroughly recommend Venice. Mm -hmm for a trip out. We did read up about mosquitoes later on in the year, obviously, because you're surrounded by water, so be mindful of that, but obviously we're in middle of March, it's not. Uh, I'd recommend to come this time of year. Yeah. One, it's not busy. Two, the weather, you can get days like this where it's gorgeous. Yeah. And three, it's not what everyone says it is. And look at that, look. Just look at that. It's just hundreds of these little bridges, look. I mean, it's just like, and that side, it's just like a road network, isn't it? It's just absolutely stunning. Right, it's on. You found it in Venice. 
take your picture with it, send it to us and we'll put you on our Instagram. And it might be the first thing you see when you get off a boat. It might be. <laughs> We've made it back in one piece. That was a quite a choppy ride back, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. He stopped off to pick some people. Yeah, he started pulling back into Venice. I thought, where are we going here? We've got up right boat. But we have done and we've got back. So as I said, I'd tell you where we are stopping. This campsite, well, it's not a campsite. It's, it's an like air, an air, isn't it? But it's good security. There's a fella on the gate at all times. It's got barriers, so you've got to get a ticket when you get here and you've got to have a ticket to get back out so no one can hit your motor I think on. it's maximum 48 hours, but I suppose when it's quiet, I guess. I don't think, yeah. Out, they're, so. they're just so laid back. It just mm. said, what do you want to do? Do you want to stay? I said, yeah, it's 18 euros a night. Um, four pound for your electric hookup, so twenty-two pound a night if you want electric. There is shower facilities. There's a washing machine, a dryer, and the best of all, it's right next to Mareva. Mar Marive Transport. Marive Transport. So tickets, we have got two of them. So that's what you pay for to get you over there, isn't it? You literally come out of the campsite, turn left, and it's right there. Mm. Get on the boat, or you're right in Venice. Yeah. We can't recommend it enough. It has been so so easy mm. and like i say venice it's not as bad as people make out it's a lovely place not as expensive not at all we've seen more prices higher in london haven't we yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's not so i would highly recommend venice if you want to come here if it's somewhere you've always wanted to come but you've just been a bit dubious mm -hmm. oh it's it's dog friendly on the boats as well so if you've got a pet a dog you can take them but don't charge as well it's free which back it in in certain places even to take a dog on a bus to charge don't they so. yeah they do don't be mistaken there is two other campsites on search for sites they will charge you a lot more mm. you'll only get the same as what you get here mm. so and you're right over the way to get the boat aren't yep. you it's so easy it's dead yeah. easy no it's two minutes walk isn't it when so, we arrived yesterday, we did think we made a big mistake mm. because we didn't think we could get into Venice on off, off our own back. Thank goodness we bumped into that young man last night, mm. didn't we? And he just said, come here for nine o'clock, get mm. your ticket. Yeah. So nine to half past six, you've got all day to get there. And then later on in the year, isn't it? in the peak season, they're running later, aren't they? Yeah. So. We are now in the seaside resort of Rimini. We're in the northeast of Italy now. And we have come to this lovely place because Mark spotted it and wants to come in. is like a well-known, uh, like an holiday resort, but we had a bit of a shock when we came yesterday because we stopped up the road at a, uh, like a campsite type thing. We were going to chill out for a couple of days and everything was shut. Everything, it, it was like worse, a ghost it, town. It was worse than Mablethorpe, wasn't it? <laughs> I, 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 that gut, I, I, couldn't even, I couldn't even bring myself to show you how badly closed everything was. I mean... It were, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it just was bad. Like, it was really bad. And it was 20 degrees. It's going to be 22 degrees here today. So we've, we've come up the road to Rimini, to the city, haven't we? Yeah. It's where we are right now. We're stopping and on a, like a, an air into like a car park yeah, kind it's of right. air. Just like car I mean, 15 yeah. euros. Yeah, and then it's extra for empty your poo and everything. Yeah, into your toilet, fill with water. Yeah, it's all extra, but it's the closest we could get, really. And it's secure as well because there's guards on the door, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, Chico's with us as usual. Chico's in the bag. Hello, cheeks. <laughs> this beautiful arch here is the, one of the oldest ones in Italy, and it's called Arco di Augusto. Dot com. <laughs> it is, it's nice, isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? And, and in the background is a massive market. That's why we got up at this unearthly hour, isn't it? To, yeah, to, to, warm, everyone isn't it? everyone gets up at like seven, and by one o'clock the streets will be like ghost town mm. again. But let's go and have a look at this market because I want to see if I can get some fresh stuff. Um, you're after a memory card. Yeah, I'm looking for a memory card on the 128 gigabyte. But you've got to be careful because there's quite a lot of fakeries and stuff, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like, we're no good when you get them, so we're going right. to look and see. Stop wittering on and let's go and look at this market. Wow, if you want a bargain, girls, get to Rimini on a Saturday morning. Six ninety nine clothes, it's ridiculous, and they're right, they're well made, aren't they? Yeah, it's alright, it's like every every other shop in Italy selling the same stuff. Don't everyone be saying to me, oh, it's all a cheap gear, because it's not, it's like shops have just come out and they're just selling what they can, when they can. But yeah, it's lovely, but we haven't found any food yet, have we? No, I, I'm hungry and it's quite warm, it's probably about 20 degrees, isn't it? sun's dead strong. So. Where's your cap? I don't know. In my bag. Um, but, but the thing is, we spent seven weeks up in Scotland and then literally come, seven or eight weeks in Scotland and then literally come here. But the first bit was cold, wasn't it? And then there is a big, big difference. Massive but, difference. But the bad thing is, it's not seizing it, is it, for walking around in shorts no. and stuff like that? And he wearing. is doing. Everyone else has got coats and stuff on. So. Right, let's go and find some more. I'm hungry. 
Yeah. Right, so we found a nice little cafe to have uh, something to eat. I'm on a toaster, and surprise, surprise, you're on cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. I think she looked at you a bit funny there. Everyone's having croissants and things, but I think we're pastried out, aren't we? I think pastry's the... even heavier than toast. Uh, we've been out just over three weeks and I'm missing the English food. Like I just said to you before, I could just murder a steak and aid him with cheese. <laughs> you can't take him anywhere. Anyway, Rimini, what's it famous for? It's got like um, medieval Roman ruins everywhere in this town. Um, tomorrow's going to be a bit quieter, so we might come back round and show you that tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's even at the moment because it's well, Saturday morning yeah. and everyone's out shopping. Yeah, we're up we, in the old town, are you saying? Aren't we you? are. We're in the old town, which was lovely and quiet last night. You you wanted to come here because of the beaches, didn't you? Ten miles of sandy beach, and they're not just long, but the thick as well, like deep. So like. <laughs> Well, you see on any shots, but they're so far, you know, that big and, and sandy. And Italy's very, very limited for nice sandy beaches, hence why this is one of the main holiday places. Well, Mark it? wants to come here because he's missing Benidorm. He really wants to get to Benidorm. And we want to see if Rimini can be Italy's Benidorm. So we're going to head down to the beach in a bit and have a look down there. A lot of things aren't going to be open because, as we've discovered, this place doesn't get going till late April and then the, yeah. the peak of the uh, season is July, August. Yeah, but so say, we're a bit early, still aren't a bit we? Even like warmer than a minute, it can drop cold here. They say in March it can still get snow and stuff. Yeah. But I wonder if it's Sticky Vicky alternative here, like Sticky Margarita or something like that. <laughs> God's sake. Be warned if you're a coffee drinker though. McDonald's have got it right here. They do give you a it's grande. A bit bigger, aren't they? But that's my, that's my grande. <laughs> Cappuccino, and believe it or not, there's ones even smaller than this. I've had two sips and it's gone. Yeah, a lot of them have smaller than that, don't they? Yeah. So. But in all the shops here, because we put you, the kettle's gone funny again. Isn't it? The kettle we had a while ago off Amazon, we're throwing it away, aren't we? Oh my god, I've been drinking out of my kettle and it's like milky water. But it's, it's like been... all calcium breaking yeah. down there. So. so, yeah, we just spotted a, a new kettle, so that's going to be coming on with us, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we're going to grab it on the way back to scooters before we go down to the beach and then we'll drop it off, can't we? Yeah. But, uh, so that's so that's that sort of, but you struggle for kettles. We've been to so many places here, haven't we? Looking around in Italy for a kettle for you. It's not that, it's the power. Mm. We're living in a motorhome. They've all been like 2,200 watts, haven't they? Yeah, they'll still be all right, but obviously the one we've seen is a bit lower. But most of these thingies in the supermarkets and the electrical stores is coffee machines, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They're big on the coffee machines here. Some I'd have one bargains, tomorrow, me, in, in the van, but they're just too big. So there's Mark's hamburger. Not as bad as what I thought Cheese it was going to be, actually. It looks quite healthy, that Mark. I know, there's all that healthy green stuff on it and tomatoes, don't want none of that. And there's my grande toaster. It's just a cheese and I'm toasty, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right for you, though, isn't it? Lovely. Let's get stuck in. Mmm. That's really nice, actually. That's quite big for Italy, isn't it? Yeah, because <laughs> the bread's normally American-style bread, isn't it? I haven't got a burger yet. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Alright, for a little side street cafe, isn't it? Yeah, like it the is. museum, apparently. Museum or something, cafe. Mm. Right, yeah. Just let me show you this. Over the road, there's a woman dressed up as Pe I think it's Peppa Pig. It's a very bad Peppa Pig. And she's doing um, kids balloons, like yeah, like character balloons. But she's popping more than she's selling them. I think they're like a Roman gypsy type person, them aren't they? All of this. She she must have popped about ten, and she's not sold anything yet. Bless her. Right, well, you can't come to market without getting a bargain, can you? I've just got a pair of Sheen shoes, six quid. Well, six euros, so about five fifty. Five euros, uh, five pounds, something like that. Yeah. It. And I've got socks. some socks. I'm going to go and get a kettle now so I can have a healthy drink of tea instead of drinking whatever I've, I'll, whatever it is I've been drinking at that kettle up back in the van. You've done all right, haven't you? I've got nothing as the usual. Nothing. Nothing at all for me. But it's getting a bit repetitive now. Socks, bags. It's busy, isn't it? Jumble, as you can see. I'm not one of those that can rumble through like that. It drives me insane. I like things to be either colour coordinated or in size at least so you can pick up what you need. 
But well, you can see it goes on for miles and miles and miles. It's like around the old town, isn't it, everywhere? Apparently it's on every, every morning. But every this morning. is every morning there's a market on, but I don't think it'll be as big as I think Saturday's the main day. Well cheap though for a city. Can't believe how the prices can we? We're yeah. Chinese back there and all I forgot to show you. I don't need recognition. I'm on a mission. Yeah. I'm paying dues. Yeah. I'm in position. I'm staying up. It's getting late. You're doing good. I'm doing great. So we've come away from the hustle and bustle of the market. We've come down to the seafront and it is glorious. It's nice, isn't it? It's a bit of a breeze, isn't it? The sea breeze, but it's nice and warm stuff. We saw this just behind us, but we don't know where it is. I've even translated it into English and it doesn't make quite make sense. So it looks like a lady and a child looking for a sailor husband. That's all I can call it anyway. But yeah, 10 kilometres of sandy golden beaches, Rimini has. And the sun has set, definitely come out. It's roasting today, isn't it? Well, it's warm, isn't it, compared to what we've had. It's 20 degrees easily. It's a nice breeze, actually. So and It's nice here. This is Rock Island. It's like a pier thing what comes out, like the entrance to the harbour and everything. Yeah. Isn't it? So we will show you the harbour shortly. There's some right big cruise ships in There's there. There's some massive ones. Looks like they're covered over as well, like you cover a back. Mm. Let's go and have a look. Recognition. I'm on a mission. Yeah. I'm paying dues. Yeah. I'm in position. I'm staying up. It's getting late. Oi, get down. Yeah, not big enough to keep look after you. You come down. Come on. Come on. Do you know? Yeah, well, you need shin pads and elbow pads as well, Mark. And a full body wrap to be up there. Dear me. This has been man made, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's the entrance to the harbour and it's all sort of rocks all been placed here. Yeah, so. gorgeous. We're going to have a bit of boats next time. Yeah. Recognition, I'm on a mission. I'm paying dues. I'm in position. I'm staying up. It's getting late. You're doing good. I'm doing great. Recognition, I'm on a mission. I'm paying dues. I'm in position. I'm staying up. It's getting late. Right, so we noticed this on Search for Sites. We were going to come here, but when we translated it, it's €25 Euro a night. Just for the actual park up and everything else is extra, isn't extra it? Extra on top. Now, it is on the harbour. It's with all the big fancy yachts, but I, I still can't justify just paying £25 when... So, the thing is, it's from town centre. You've got to go right inland about a kilometre to get... Because the water's here, isn't it? The, the harbour entrance, yeah. so you've got to go right in. So this is called Parking Auto E Camper, if you want to know where it is. And it's next to the parking the elite in it for the arbor. it does look nice and posh down here but yeah, we're, we're in a motorhome that's why we're in a motorhome we want to keep it cheap mm. so just to let you know that this place is 25 euros like we said we're paying 15 and it's exactly the same exactly you're not getting anything special up here if anything you're getting worse because you're out of the town you're away from the shops and bars and we took six minutes to get to the local market this morning these are miles away aren't oh, yeah, they yeah, absolute yeah, miles away 20 minutes right yeah away, aren't you, so. if you are ever thinking of coming to Rimini check out the site that we're stopping at because up to now it's been spot on yeah this is nothing here there's loads of rubbish over the fence and it? it's like a pier here as well isn't it, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's boring it's quiet here there's no oh, no atmosphere I don't like it Right, so we can't get onto the actual harbour, it's locked up, but there's some of the beautiful boats that are moored up there. Like I said, some have got covers on them as well, so like someone really new, loves a boat, don't they? Some of them look brand new, don't <laughs> they? Mm. Oh, they've raw liver. Can't believe you're dragging me in here. We must have been in about 50 of these. Ali Ops has yeah. found one in Rimini. Eight a lot in, in Italy. Yeah, I've never seen one in Italy before. I'm about to say I wonder if you have them. Oh, what was that? Yeah. All the same stuff, it's the same stuff in every shop. But Mark reckons new season, new items. Are you going to ring the cow's bell then? Tradition for you. <laughs> two of them, isn't there? Like? There is two of them. Mm. So, literally, three minutes from where we're stopping, we have this ginormous, olive mega tree. olive tree. 
and it, is, it does show up on one of the attractions to come and look at for Ribbon Air, but there's no information, is there? No, we reckon it's over 500 years old, though, isn't it? Yeah. So. If you can imagine olive trees in the garden centres in England. Two or three years old, that. But this is look like at that. rotten in the middle, but it's, I mean, it must be nearly as old as you, Lisa, that. It's mega, isn't it? Like Mark said, if you go around the other side of it, there is kind of like a hollowness in this, but it's still living, Mark. It's, it's pure green. And it's just in the centre of this... Um, roundabout, isn't it? Yeah, roundabout, that all the streets go off. It's absolutely bizarre. I bet they get loads of olives off it as well. It's massive, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. And just round the corner from the olive tree, this seems to be where everyone comes out on an evening. Piazza Luigi Ferrari, as in the car. Don't hmm. think it's anything to do with him. There's a it's massive... A Ferrari shop down there, isn't there? Oh, is that? Yeah, but it's only sort of vending machines. Oh. Like drinks and stuff, so... Uh, there's a massive monument in the park. It's absolutely huge and it's to commemorate the people who lost their life in the First World War. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're going to have a look around here, aren't we? Yeah, the shop's and everything leading off to the left, so let's go and have a look what's going on in Rimini tonight. So anyone in the know, it's only 98 days to wait. If you're in Rimini, in 98 For days. What? Tour of Italy. No, it's Tour de France. De France. Tour, well, that's what they call it, isn't it? Tour de France. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's coming exactly. to Rimini. So is it Tour de France via Italy? It must be coming through here or something. Did it start here or what? I ain't got a clue. Put it in the comments. I've never followed Tour de France. But they're counting it down, aren't they? Look. Oh. 98 days. But look at this we just walked into. This big, massive square. Things take a different light at night time, don't they? It looks Sometimes, gorgeous. Yeah. Look at this. Rammed all down the streets, down the side. Yeah, it's busier at night time in Europe than it is during the day. Believe you me, everyone comes out now. I think we've said this before, but I know. wow, what a social weather, laugh. Though. They have the weather, don't they? So. They do, yeah. I mean, it's not even cold. I've put my scarf and coat on just in case I start feeling it. But yeah, amazing. <laughs> I've just found a charity shop and it's short. Everything else is open. Is it? Yeah. Look at it, it's all that new stuff. Can we try the door? There's yeah. people in there. Yeah, they're just shut, aren't they? <laughs> Again, they probably open when they want, don't they? The yeah. charity point, look. Gutted. All sorts in there, aren't they? Alright, let's move on for a sock crying. We're just walking past a van, past down there, a delivery van, and it's covered in hailstone damage. Isn't it? Yeah, so, really, really bad. It's pitted all over its bonnet. And uh, and then we we're looking, because I think you have quite a lot of earthquakes here as well, don't they? So. Look to the left here. Pray that we don't get one, Mark. Yeah, Look at this. Like a nun in there. Pray, yeah, isn't not like a nun. That is a proper nun. Praying, Mark, like a nun. Is it a nunnery? You think someone's dressing up as a nun? So this must be an important bridge because there's police here employed just to stop the traffic and let people come and have a look at it and it's a well-known bridge isn't it it is in our la in our language it's a bridge of augustus ponte di, di, di titerios i can't Titi. no i can't pronounce it is it the devil's bridge or something? something yeah it's got a nickname of the devil's bridge because it's got some markings on it somewhere so they've all called it the devil's bridge but it's um back to like 15 ad it was two Roman empires, Tiberius and someone else, that they, they did it for. Um, if you know anything about this bridge, put it in the comments below. It and looks like the police come every night when it's decent weather, don't they, to stop the traffic yeah. and let people cross over here. We have just missed sunsets, so that's why everyone's been here, haven't they? Stood on the bridge. Now, the top of the bridge, I don't know if you can see it from here, they lost some bricks, some stones off it, and they actually got them out of this water behind us. Now, they're around here somewhere. They've laid them out so everyone can see them because they are the original stones going back all that time okay. but I don't know yeah you can just see some are missing off there can't you yeah I wonder what these devil's markings are Mark it's in the middle I think isn't it? Ah. but what a lovely view the emperors were Tiberius and Augustus and Mark was pointing out these writing marks it's Roman Roman writing isn't it yeah, right. is it Roman graffiti someone's engraved it haven't they yeah and it took from 14 to 21 AD to build 
I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't like to have been picking these stones up because they look mega heavy, don't they, Mark? Yeah. yeah really they're, heavy. They're heavy, aren't they? They had some muscles, weren't they, back in the day? <laughs> and now we're just on the other side of the bridge. It looks all lit up. I think this looks like the restaurant part, Mark, because it, it looks, looks like, like a lot of restaurants on the other side of here. Yeah, it looks it. Now, we mentioned earlier in the vlog, if we wanted to know if Rimenet was the new Benidorm, because we read up that it's one of the most Europe's liveliest spots on the weekend and at that time, well, isn't it? Well, it's like, for, for, for definitely Italy and probably Germany and Austria and all that, it's like the beach, isn't it? This is where they come. It's because like the Blackpool of England, isn't not, it? Yeah, there's not, well, yeah, you can call that. But there's not many beaches in Italy, apparently it's quite rocky, so um, this is... A, long as you can see can't you the beach here it's dead long but so is it is it the new benedon no it's nothing like is it nothing really? like no nothing partly because like. we're in italy aren't we and that's the thing and completely we, different we are out of our me anyway we're out of our comfort zone from like <laughs> home from home luxuries like food and stuff because like you know when we was up up the road in treviso last week the Chinese and stuff, it was done like, they didn't say noodles, like uh, chicken noodles or anything. Chicken like, spaghetti. It was still called, calling it spaghetti and stuff just to get them to buy it, I think. So um, You're struggling with the food area well, in yeah. Italy, aren't you? It's all right, isn't it? Well, I, nothing to jump up and down about. No. So struggling to, fi to find a good Chinese. The problem is they eat quite healthily to the Italians as well, don't they? So mm. everything's freshly made. And everywhere that's selling fast food, it's all pizza. It's pe it really is pizza, all pizza. Pizza, pizza and uh, pizza and not pizza, but I mean, it's <laughs> and the right, pizza isn't it? again. But, but yeah, we, we're doing all right, aren't we? I suppose, it's a lovely yeah. country to look at, but it's just not Benidorm. This isn't. We said that at the start because I thought when I read up about it, and then like that town down the road, it was like I was gutted. But here is open, more. Of, it's like a ghost town down there. You wouldn't believe it. Would no, you find a lot of you, down the road? A lot of you probably will be saying, "Good, I don't want it to be Benidorm because I don't like Benidorm." But mm, that's the emphasis we came here because the reader, the, when we read up about it, it just sounded like it were going to be so lively at night time. All pubs and there's nothing like that. I definitely nothing. don't think. I definitely, definitely don't think I'm going to find a sticky margarita around here. Recognition, I'm on a mission. Yeah, I'm paying dues. I'm in position. I'm staying up. It's getting late. You're doing good. I'm doing great. Recognition, I'm on a mission. Yeah. 